going on everybody? It's Guns for Hire from You Always Win and I'm playing Call of Duty World War II TDM. This is the game mode that I use to, you know, every new COD. And I haven't really been this excited about Call of Duty in a long time. But traditionally, every new COD that I play, uh, I use TDM to unlock the weapons. You know, it's a good way to get a lot of kills. It's a good way to just sort of, you know, you don't have to worry about objectives. You just shoot. You see an enemy, you shoot an enemy. It's a good way to unlock the weapons. Figure out which ones you like. Figure out which ones you don't like. Uh, and then later on, I use TDM usually as a warm-up. If I'm going to play a whole day of search or whatever, I like to use TDM to sort of get the juices flowing because you have more engagements. It kind of makes you react a little bit faster. Search is a little bit slower. I'm a tactical player. Yeah, some people say camping, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I love my bouncing betties and I love claymores. If it had claymores, I'd use claymores. It has bouncing betties. I don't always use them for kills. It's not that I use betties or anything like that. I use it to watch my back. So as I'm, I'm up there trying to actually watch uh, out the window and get kills, I know that that betty potentially will watch my back. It'll watch... And if it doesn't kill it, if it doesn't kill the person, I know that that person is is there and I can turn around and pay attention. Let's talk about the BAR. Oh my goodness, World at War. I did not like the BAR at all. I never used it. It was slow. It was clunky. I'm pretty sure in World at War it was also considered an LMG, not an AR. So it's nice to see this one. But holy mackerel, you cannot go wrong. If you're going to use your prestige coin, if you're new at this to unlock something, unlock the BAR. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it is one of the greatest weapons in this game. The recoil on it is negligible. It's like the ACR of World War II. Right now, I'm using it in conjunction with the Mountain Class because I'm trying to unlock the inconspicuous basic training ribbon, which basically makes you quieter movement and faster movement while you're crouched. That's going to be perfect for search. At least I think so. If it works properly in conjunction, and if you use it on the Mountain Class, which basically negates any radar like the, the UAV or whatever from the enemy players, Holy mackerel, that's going to be awesome. The only problem with that is you won't be able to use, uh, say, a silencer attachment on your SMG, which you can do in Airborne. I personally like the balancing on this. I think it's good. We don't get to stack things, you know what I mean? It, when you have a free-for-all in terms of picking out your perks and the t a pick 10 system, players abuse it. Every year you're like, oh, this, this, and this, and this, and basically no one can see you. People complain about how OP certain combinations are. Well, Sledgehammer addressed that, and now is making it so that if you want to use certain perks, you have to use the class, and you can't use other things in other classes. So I think it's a nice balance. I think they've done a great job in terms of class setups. I like the divisions. I like the fact that, you know, that additional one. So if it's not included in your division, you can always use one of the basic training ribbons, like I'm using Primed on this, so that I can have Extend Mag, Grip, and Rapid Fire on the... Uh, B-A-R. And by the way, that's my, I love that. I think it's an amazing thing. If I didn't have primed, if I had to use something else, I would probably use uh, grip and rapid fire or extend mag and rapid fire. I want the rapid fire. It just makes that weapon so much, so much better. And of course, there's not a lot of uh, recoil on it. You know, back in World at War days, you know, way back when, the one that Treyarch made, the recoil on the, the BAR and the spread pattern was ridiculous. Now, with the BAR the way it is, holy mackerel, it is like, I, I'm in love with the BAR, and I never thought I'd ever say that. Things could change, though, people. In the beginning, the more that players use certain weapons, like the MP40 in the BAR, the more that people use it, the more that other players, usually, and I'm, I'm not saying this to be rude, but usually less skilled players that just get annihilated by like, that weapon is OP, because they're using something that's subpar. They're using something that doesn't work as well or has like bad recoil or less damage or whatever the case may be, and they're getting owned by something like the BAR or they're getting owned by the MP40. So naturally they're gonna complain. And of course, you know, Sledgehammer, Activision are gonna look at the stats. They're gonna say, wow, look at all the players using this, so many kills obviously it's too easy that's when the nerfs come in that's when the the guns start in my opinion start getting ruined I, I i don't like that i don't unless there's a glaring issue like it's really really bad like for instance the bar yeah it's awesome and unless you put extend mags on it you only get 20 shots in it you know what i mean it it can be detrimental you can run out but that's why i put extend mags on it as well it always happens whenever players get annihilated by soup, uh, certain guns and they don't use them themselves or just suck at the game, you know, that's when things get nerfed. And that's when, I don't know, for me, I don't want to think about the gun. Anytime I play Search, I use whatever, you know, what you would call OP weapons. And I do it because, guess what? 
I want to win using strategy. The weapon, I don't want issues with it. I don't want to worry about recoil. I don't want to worry about damage or anything like that. I use the best weapon or the best tool for the job. And that always involves finding OP weapons. So anytime I push a weapon, anytime I talk about a weapon or a class setup, it's always trying to do it in the best way possible. Keep in mind, however, that what I put on my weapons, what I think is actually best, even in terms of weapons, is based on my play style. If you play differently, if you're a run and gunner, if you like to rush, you know, you're gonna probably put in something different. You're gonna want different basic training ribbons, a different class setup, whatever. You need to make sure that whatever it is, and no matter who you're watching on YouTube, that you keep in mind that their play style may be different. They may be super fast reaction. They may know how to do crazy drop shots. They may have great accuracy. And if you don't own those attributes, their recommendation or their class setup is not gonna help you. I'm a slow player. I'm a methodical player. That's, and I, I'm, I don't hide from that. That's the way I am. So I have to be very careful in what I set up in order to, for it to actually work. The BAR and the MP40, as I've got it set up right now, is optimal for me slow methodical if you're the same way if you're not super if you're finding even if you're getting owned maybe you think in your head you're like i'm super amazing but you're getting owned well maybe you're not as amazing as you think maybe you should just try the setup slow your gameplay down a little bit wait till you get used to the actual maps then you can go all ham and increase your sensitivity so you can do those crazy 360 drop shot crazy stuff that I just can't do ever, never have been able to do that. But anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to You Always Win if you haven't done so already. Way more Call of Duty World War II videos coming here on You Always Win.